Incoming transmission standby, welcome to the NOD News Network. The U.S. Space Agency admitted that unexplained phenomena may, however, pose a risk to airspace safety. A panel of independent scientists and experts tasked by NASA with probing the origins of numerous reports of sightings of unidentified anomalous phenomena, known as UAP or UFOs, said on Thursday that no evidence has been found to suggest that the unexplained lights in the sky are evidence of visitors from another world. However, at a press briefing at the space agency's headquarters in Washington, D.C., NASA scientist Dan Evans admitted that the presence of UAP raises serious concerns about the safety of our skies and that it is of utmost importance to determine if these phenomena pose any potential risks to airspace safety. The 16-person panel was convened by the agency last year amid a wave of public interest in the subject, particularly after the U.S. government declassified a trove of footage appearing to show various unidentified objects performing physics-defying maneuvers, often without any obvious means of propulsion. Speaking after the publication of its 36-page report on the subject, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson recommended the use of several methods including artificial intelligence, to further the understanding of the sightings. It was also announced that the new director has been appointed by NASA to oversee UAP research. The top takeaway from the study is that there is a lot more to learn, Nelson said. NASA's independent research team found no evidence that UAPs are of extraterrestrial origin. But we don't know what these UAPs are. The report also notes that while many sightings have innocuous explanations, others that have been studied cannot be immediately identified as natural or man-made phenomena, go out. He added that the possibility of unknown potential extraterrestrial technology operating in the Earth's atmosphere cannot be ruled out. The release of NASA's findings follows testimony before Congress in July by a 14-year veteran Air Force intelligence officer who told lawmakers that the government the United States has systematically concealed information about the existence of the UAP. In his testimony, David Grush said he was briefed on the decades-long accident recovery and reverse engineering program during his career. He also swore under oath that the government owned planes of non-human origin and that biological products were recovered from crash sites. The report comes a day after Mexico's Congress was presented with evidence of an alleged 1,000-year-old alien mummy recovered from an algae mine in Peru. The journalist and researcher at the center of this claim has seen similar claims debunked in the past. This has been the Nod News Network, transmission complete.